All right, we're going to quickly look at converting between radians and degrees. I'm going to do a couple of these questions. So, oh, there we go. So, degrees to radians. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply our angle by pi over 180. And then you're going to need to simplify after that. So, for that first question, express these angles uh, in radians in terms of pi. Oh, yep, yeah, let's go done. We're going to have the first one, so if we had 20 degrees, we're going to do 20 times pi over 180. Now we want to keep this fraction as it's written here. If we type the, this in my calculator, it's going to give me a weird number. So we want to make sure we're keeping our answer exact in terms of pi. So let's simplify the fraction 20 over 180. 2 over, so again, so the zero is 2 over 18 is 1 over 9, so it's just pi over 9. Gonna pick another one that's a little bit easier or to do without there being weird decimals and stuff. 100 degrees to radians, we're gonna multiply by pi over 180. So we get 100 pi over 180. And then we're just gonna, again, same as before, we're gonna simplify. We're not typing in, we're gonna simplify the numbers in the fraction. Cancel my zeros here. 10 over 18 is five pi on nine. Gonna leave it like that. To go from radians to degrees, that is much easier. We multiply by the opposite, 180 over pi. And this is something you can type in your calculator to avoid errors. So if we're looking at 8a, pi over 12 into degrees, we're gonna multiply that by 180 over pi. The pi's are going to cancel, which is great news. And then we've got 180 divided by 12, which we can do as 90 over 6. Oh, that number's going to be weird. Let me keep kind of filibustering while I quickly type it in on a calculator. So it's going to be 180 over 12. That number might be okay. It's going to be 15 degrees, which is 15. Let's pick another one. Let's do D as well. 11 pi over 8 times by 180 over pi. Your pi's are always going to cancel here. And then we have 11 times 180 divided by 8. So 11 times 180. Let's press some buttons here. Divided by 8 gives us 247.5 degrees. So being able to convert between them is important and it's something you're going to need to do on occasion here. The final one we'll take a look at is we're going to look at the complement of pi on 6. Now complement in terms of angles means it adds to 90 degrees. So it'll be two angles that add to 90 degrees. So the complement will be the other angle we need in order to add the one the current one, sorry, to become 90 degrees. Now, in terms of radians, 90 degrees, if we're gonna look at radians, would be 90 times pi on 180, 90 pi on 180, which is pi on two. So we can work this in terms of radians. So we can do pi on two minus pi on six is gonna give me my answer of what the complement is. If we do some times, if we do some, uh, 3 pi over 6 minus pi on 6 is 2 pi on 6, which is pi, oh, pi on 3, which is the complement of pi on 6, because pi on 3 plus pi on 6, that's going to give pi on 2. Uh, we'll leave the special triangles because we're going to cover that in class tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wednesday. Thursday. Tomorrow. And so that's just a little overview of degrees and radians.